Hello, I'm Gareth Jameson. I'm an actor and a voice coach from www.londonvoicelessons.com. Here are some tips for working on your voice. Now the key to any accent is to isolate the specific sounds that occur in that accent. Now when we're talking about a Cockney accent, we're actually going to talk about an accent that's more general to the southeast of England and East London. The term Cockney refers very specifically to people in a very particular part of London, but this is more general. Now the first sound we'll look at is the sound you get with the letters TH put together. And normally we pronounce this with the tongue sticking out. But for the Cockney accent, we'll do it slightly differently. Listen to this sentence. This maths thing's a lot of bother. This maths thing's a lot of bother. You notice the TH at the beginning of the word this has changed to a D. This maths thing. And then in the word maths and thing, it's become this maths thing. And finally in the word bother, it's become like a V sound, bother. This maths thing's a lot of bother. Notice also at the end of that phrase, we've got the word bother. Now normally we end that with a very small mouth, bother, but now we're going to make it much bigger, bother, much wider, in the same with mother and butter. Butter, butter, is a good word to show you another feature of the Cockney accent, something called the glottal stop. When you meet a T sound, especially at the ends of words or in the middle between two vowels, you're going to replace it with something called a glottal stop. This is the same sound you get in the word uh-oh, so if you want to learn how to do your glottal stop, give me a few uh-oh and get that sound in the middle. Uh-oh. And that's what you put in butter. Butter. Better. Letter. Try this little sentence. That's what a lot of bother. What a lot of bother. What a lot a. Notice that it's very wide. Mava. Bova. Very good. Now another, another vowel that we're going to work on is the I vowel. So when I say like or fine, I have quite a wide mouth, but we're going to go much deeper now. Like. It's like almost like the oi in oil. Like. Like. So we get, I like nice tights. That's I like nice tights becomes I like nice tights. Notice again that glottal stop at the end, tights. Finally, the ow sound. If you've ever seen My Fair Lady, this is that typical Eliza Doolittle sound. We say, how now, brown cow, if you're a standard British speaker. But the Cockney accent is ah, ah na brown cow. To get this really right, you want to drop off those H sounds from the beginning as well. So don't say ha, say ah, ah na brown cow. You'll be fitting into EastEnders in no time. <laughs>